Hey guys, it is Nixie here, and in this video, I'm going to be playing some Minecraft yet again, and as you notice, I now have a netherite sword, because I actually just went ancient debris mining and found quite a bit, I actually only found one, but that was, I actually found two, but that's still enough to make a netherite ingot, because I already had three. So yeah, if you want to see more Minecraft videos, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe, and let's hop straight into this video. Here is me making the netherite sword, just so that you know that I didn't go in creative mode and just get it. So, I thought, because all these videos on the Nintendo Switch can only take 30 seconds, I was trying to do it as fast as possible. But, here you go. Netherite sword. And it's literally still in the same place in my inventory, because I just got it, like, a couple minutes ago. But yeah, that's basically it. Also, I have a lot of gold. And if you don't know why, that's actually because... Remember when I was off camera, when I said the last episode, I was mining for like quite a while. And while I was mining, I actually found a lot of gold. So I am actually going to go pickling bartering. And I'm also going to try to get ender pearl so we can go to the end soon. Because I kind of want me some elytra and some dragon egg. That would be cool. Oh yeah, I totally forgot the nether portal was in the basement. I keep forgetting everything about my house. Also, totally forgot, I made this thing, which is like fishing indoors. I also got a fishing rod. And I only got Luck of the Sea 2 when I looked in my enchanting book. So then I got that same wooden shovel, enchanted it, and then grindstoned it. And then it reset the fishing rod, so I got this. So that's pretty cool. And I just got a salmon, cool. But one time I actually got a saddle, so that would be cool if I get a horse... That would be pretty cool. Where am I going to put this? Boom. They go in here. So I guess I'm going to go to the nether now. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to be back when I'm where all the piglins are. Okay, I'm in the nether now. So now I'm going to go to the piglin area. And back over here. Normally there seems to be quite a bit of piglins in this area. But I don't really see that much piglins. Oh, there's some over here. Cool. Yo, piglins. I got gold. And yeah, don't chuck stuff in the lava. Please don't chuck stuff in the lava. If you get ender pearls, don't throw in the lava. Imagine if he just like, gives you like a stack of diamonds and just throws in the lava. That would suck. Gravel? Oh yeah, I totally forgot. On like big servers like Hermitcraft, they always need gravel for everything. And then they notice, they're like, oh, piglins, give me gravel. And then they make like the biggest piglin farms ever. And then they just get gravel all the time. So I guess I'm just going to be trading with these guys until I get something pretty good. So I'm going to be back when that happens. Cool. Potion of fire resistance. That's cool. So if I ever fall in lava again, kind of like that thing that happened like a couple days ago, I literally fell off a lava lake and survived because this thing. Fire charge. Cool. Bunch of piglins over here. I guess I'm just going to trade with these guys. So all these guys are just staring at the gold. Oh, I got ender pearls. Whoa. Oh, I only got two. That sucks. Because ender pearls are, like, really OP. You need them to beat the game. So, pretty good if you get those from piglins. And they can actually give them to you. Because that's what the speedrunners do. You just go up to... What the heck? Um. Are they, they going to go kill some hoglins or something? What the heck? What is happening? There's so much, like, piglins everywhere. I guess I'm just going to go up to these guys now. A piglin. Want some gold? Oh, they did just kill a hoglin. There's just, like, pork on the floor. And we're still going. I hope I get more ender pearls. I still haven't got any more ender pearls from these guys. Unless they gave me some right now. That would be cool. And I'm out of gold, so I hope these guys give me something good. This guy with the fire charge, and this guy with another fire charge. So I only got... Two ender pearls. That really sucks. From 47 gold? Well, that's kind of a scam. So I guess I'm just going to go back to my base now. And I'm back to my house again. I just killed myself. Kind of sounds weird. I don't know. I also just said kind of twice. But I also got a... Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah. I need more eyes of ender. I got to make eyes of ender. So I think I have four eyes of ender technically now. Boom. And boom. So we got four eyes of ender. Of course we need 12. 
Actually, I could throw one to see what direction the stronghold's in. I'm, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Please don't land on my house. I don't think it can land anywhere bad. Okay, so the stronghold's this way. Okay, cool. Are you kidding me? It broke? Isn't it only like a couple percent? Isn't it only like 20% chance of it breaking and it breaks? I guess I'm just gonna make a little thing out of netherrack right now. Pointing where the stronghold is. Boom. So now I guess I'm gonna go try to get more ender pearls. And I know a really good way to farm ender pearls. All you gotta do is go to a warped forest biome, which is where all the blue trees are. And then you go on like hard mode or normal mode or anything like that. And then you just wait until endermen spawn, because endermen spawn there all the time. So I'm gonna try using that so I can get a bunch of ender pearls, because I think that's gonna work. I found lava or something crazy. I got that. So I guess I just got away and I just stare at the Enderman because I already have the thing where you look at the Enderman and then you kill them. But I just need to make it so that nothing else can get in, like magma cubes or something. I don't know. I don't even know how those are supposed to get in there. But I'm going to go to the nether and there is a warped forest really close. And yet you have to go through this door and then you just go down the stairs stairs somewhere i don't even know if these are considered stairs and then you go to this thing and then you look for enderman to spawn this isn't really the best place to do it because i could have done it like over there but i think that's okay oh yeah first i should make gold boots so that the piglins don't attack me also i love fortune it makes you get a lot and especially with redstone lapis and nether gold you get even more stuff than normal so now I have enough to make gold boots. So then I wear the gold boots and now the piglins won't attack me. I don't know why, but if you're wearing gold, they think you're a piglin or something. I don't know how this works. So now I'm gonna go to where the enderman place is. And we're now on easy mode. So now all I have to do is stare at the enderman. If they spawn anywhere. So I just, I guess I, just, I, guess I just gotta wait till the enderman spawn. I feel like that's gonna take quite a while. I think he's mad at me and he can't walk in so that's cool you know what sucks about this sword i don't even have looting on it and the enderman's back so this is what i'm going to do now stare at as much enderman as possible and then try to kill them i feel like there's an enderman on the roof and i don't know yeah i swear there's an enderman on the roof stare at him stare at you Try to stare at as much enderman as possible. Normally, you don't want to do that. But today, I'm staring at a bunch of endermen. Oh, no ender pearls from that guy. I just hope I get some more endermen to show up. I still don't think there's any ender pearls. Wow, there's like no ender pearls. That's weird. Don't endermen, aren't they supposed to drop ender pearls? I don't really know what's going on. So, a lot more endermen seem to spawn over there. So, I just moved my head over here. I'm going back on easy mode. And I hope no Enderman. So look, I get Enderman. Wait. I don't think there's a way to attack them. Well, that sucks. So they're mad at me, but they can't attack me because they're just stuck. Well, that kind of sucks. Here we go. Now we got an Enderman platform. So this is safety for me. So now I'm going to go back on easy mode. Finally, now I'm going to actually stay on easy mode. Now I just wait for Enderman to spawn in. And while I'm doing that, I'll wait and get some quartz. Enderman. Now I just stare at his face. Is he mad? I don't think he's mad. Okay, we got an Enderman mad. But he's not coming here for some reason. He's just going over there. What? I wonder, just try to shoot an Enderman and make it mad. This Enderman is just camping behind this tree for some reason. I don't know why. What? What is up with these Endermen? I don't know, there's just Endermen everywhere, and I still haven't gotten any pearls for some reason. I don't know why. Now I'm getting slapped in the face by this guy. Wait, I finally got an Ender Pearl. And there's a guy that ran to lava and just dropped an Ender Pearl. That's cool. Okay, what's up with them always camping behind trees? Cool, three Ender Pearls now. All the endermen are just like getting hit by me and then just running in lava. 
or doing that. Like what? But I have five pearls now, so that's pretty good. And now we have six, I think. Here we go. Oh yeah, totally forgot. We already have four pearls, so technically we have 11 now. And I'm just gonna have 13 just in case my like my and my eyes of ender break or something. So yeah, I'm gonna get some extra pearls just in case my eyes of ender break. Are they on my roof? Wait, there's actually none on my roof. Cool. So I just got to level 30, and I also have nine ender pearls. So I think that is enough to go back. So I guess I'm just gonna go back to my base. Boom, I tried to swim in lava, but I, but I actually was trying to. And now I'm back in my base with nine ender pearls. So now, wait, I had three? Oh yeah, I threw one, it broke. Whatever, that's fine. I know which way it's in. So I guess I just gotta do that. I hope I don't need any more. So now I just gotta make a bunch of blaze powder. So I just do this, make some blaze powder. Doing my thing. And now we have 12 eyes of ender. I'm making one extra eye of ender just in case, like I said. So now I can actually go back to my base. I guess we gotta prep up for going to the end soon. Because now we have the eyes of ender we need. All we gotta do now is just like prep up for the end. And if you don't know already, beds explode in the end, at least. But not in the overworld. But basically what I'm trying to say is that if we get a bunch of beds and then blow them up we can kill the ender dragon doing that so that would be pretty cool i'm going on easy now hope there's no creepers anywhere because that would really suck well i guess i just gotta go get some more wood and make a bunch of beds also i want a bed to bring with me so when i go to the end i bring a bed with me and put it in the stronghold just in case if i die i'll go do that i guess i'm gonna go try looking for the stronghold or something so I know it's this way, so I'm, I'm going to keep going this way and then throw another Eye of Ender and then see where it is. Oh, I just tried an MLG water and I almost died because it landed in the berry bush for some reason. That kind of sucks. So I'm going to try to do triangulation. I don't really know if it works, but you're like, you go over there, you throw an Eye of Ender and it goes like this way. So then you go over here and then the Eye of Ender goes that way and then you go and then you like add up where it would go. And you do that kind of thing. So I'm gonna throw another eye of Venner and and I hope it goes somewhere to the right. Okay, never mind, it's straight. Please don't break. And I've no clue what just happened. Okay, good, I still have the eye vendor. Let's go. Did I just find a village? I swear I just saw a village. Unless there's this really weird looking mounds there. I think I just found a village. And... Wait. I think that's actually a village. Cool. That's pretty sick. Village time. Is that a ravine? What the heck is this? This thing's huge. Whoa. What the heck? This looks exactly like the ravine I found in Area 60, and it had, like, four diamond veins because I looked up a seed with the ravine, and that became a new main world. So I guess I'm going to try exploring this place. Will this work? I feel like it won't. I, th I think I'm actually making obsidian with this. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to jump down here. Yeah, I didn't just, I didn't even do anything at all there. I'm gonna do this and make some obsidian. Oh, there's some gold over there, that's cool. And if there's diamonds, that would be really cool because I have fortune, even though the last time I had fortune, it didn't really work that well. I only got nine out of four. But I guess I'm gonna go get this gold. Oh no, what have I done? No. Um, what? I guess I gotta get my water back. Well, this water goes really high. Does this water go all the way to the top? I feel like it does. Oh, I found the top. Finally, that took forever. Wow, this ravine is big. No, I'm gonna try MLG water. Okay, never mind. I just landed there. I was trying to land on something else. Whatever. Wow, was that a multiple redstone vein? So I swear I just found a big redstone vein. It was like this entire thing, and then all the way down here was a redstone vein. 
What the heck? I just mined two blocks and found another ravine. What? There's two ravines here? So I go down here, and then there's this ravine. And then I go over here, and then there's another ravine. What? This is crazy. And this just happens to be the edge of another ravine. I guess we're going to explore this in the next episode, because I'm kind of running out of time. You know, it's been like 15 minutes. So hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to explore this ravine in the next episode of Minecraft. So hope you enjoyed the video. It is Nixie, and this video is done. Bye.